like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hello. Today we will learn how to write command I macro for fill out the details to text box or text area. Actually, I call this text box is text editor. So, problem for fill the details of products to text box is I macro will not enter lineup. Cause the text we type is not pretty read. Second problem, I macro can fill the details to basic text array of HTML. But mostly basic command of iMacro can't fill to element div or text editor. And now, mostly developers like to use element div command for fill in the page. We will see example this tag in Facebook or Twitter and famous website. So if you see that web be use that tag. You must to use iMacro record option to experimental event recording mode and use command javascript to help. OK start create code. First step, I will create new folder in iMacro. This new folder named TESTO2. I will press record button in iMacro and press stop button. Move file hash current dot em to folder TESTO2. This step I will copy command from old job. This command is basic header code of iMacro. First section we will create code for text array a tag and before this we will learn how to write command i macro for div tag or text editor. Back to code I will edit some line. Okay, I will see my data. In my data are csv i want info from column 4. Back to code i macro I will edit number get column to number 4. So. Write code for text array a dispensable to write command javascript file we can write command in .em file but second section may be unavoidable to write command in javascript file. Back to code, in csv file column number 4, I have inserted special characters. This special characters is lowcase and uppercase n and lowcase n. I'll write command set var1 eval and use javascripts for replace this special characters to new line code or br tag. See example in video. Result of eval command. This command send results variable to var1 and i macro will get to work. Back to code, in eval command I will create variable name ss for get info from csv filing column number 4. Don't forget single quote to cover col4, see example in video. I will explain eval command, structure this command will be has double quote. If we create variable in this command and that variable is string we can use single quote to cover string but if you want to use double quote to cover that string, you must to use backslash after double quote. Definition of backslash that we use, double quote is not meant to be programmed or the program will ignore that double quote. See example in video. Back to code, I will use replace command for replace lowcase and uppercase n and lowcase n to double backslash n, backslash n. This is command for new line. See example in video.
The new line command is available to us using two commands. BR and double backslash N. In this video we will use double backslash N. Next step, replace command as we use will be replace only one word. In this case lowcase and uppercase and in lowcase N. So that we must use regular expression to help see example in video. In video you will see problem and how to solve love problem. I want to focus on again and how to declare variables in iMacro before use. You should declare the variable as you want to append and do it every time before ending the command of val. See example result code in video. Back to code, I will test and show between the command double backslash n and br tag c and results are same to or different double backslash n. Now you can see BR tag can be used same double backslash n by JavaScript command as we write in a val. But you can't use double backslash n with iMacro's basic command. All of this is create a set code for basic fill out the details to text box or text array. But this step does not apply to other HTML tags to use fill out or not text array. Are you listening? Damn.